Right, it's uh, October the 13th, 2010. Um, we're starting our second pick of the season. The first um, pick we did uh, 10 days ago on a Sunday in the rain. Today is grey, but at least it's not raining. We are now picking um, our white varieties, which are Chardonnay and some Auxerrois. Picking is quite complicated this year because we had frost damage, so the grapes have ripened at different times and hopefully I've instructed my pickers, of which we have four so far, and hopefully we'll have about 16 to 20 um, by the end of the day. Uh, and we should get about two tonnes, maybe two and a half tonnes of grapes in today, which will come out as about um, 1,800 to 2,000 bottles of wine. Right, this is the problem we have this year, with grapes ripening at different times. This came from the same plant, and if you look at these, they have a slightly darker colour to them. Uh, they're softer. If you squeeze them, they burst easily. And they have a glassy finish of them. Um, those are ripe grapes. This came from the same plant, and they look more like peas. Um, they're very hard. You can't burst them. And trust me, if you eat those, you think, yum. And if you eat those, um, you don't, <laughs> basically. And this is what the pickers have to set, sort out because that will be like that on a plant. So it's not just going from one plant to the other, you actually have to select from plant and bunch by bunch. Right, this is an example of a rotten bunch of grapes. And what we need to do is we need to flick out the rotten ones so they don't get into the final product. So if you see what he's doing here, he's selecting the rotten ones. So the one that goes, the bunch that goes in the crate is nice and clean. And if you have a nice picker, like Terry here, he goes obsessive about it, but that's fine. You know? <laughs> so if you just show, can you just show the bunch? It's nice and clean now. This is um, one of the three major diseases that, that affect grapes, um, and it's called grey rot, which is botrytis. Um, on an unripe grape, it's called grey rot. If you want to make a sweet white, like Sauterne so or something, what you want is you want this disease on a ripe grape, then it turns them into raisins and you get very intense flavours and you get the sweet. So then it's called noble rot. Ours aren't that ripe, so this is grey rot, so that is rubbish. <laughs> <laughs> the problems of growing grapes are multifold. Um, there are three major diseases, um, which are two types of mildew and a thing called botrytis. Um, the other problem is that ripe grapes get eaten by birds. And you can see here, we've had bird damage. There's a bunch of grapes. And there's, that was a bunch of grapes. And this has almost certainly been eaten by pheasants, uh, which are very difficult to control. Um, and we know it's pheasants because it's low and the pheasants are picking up. Whereas if you go up on the plant, up higher, where they're just as ripe, they're not being eaten by the birds. Songbirds, um, as in hedgerow birds, will eat these. But um, fortunately, we have um, sparrowhawks and other um, raptors that keep them away from here. We've now, my wonderful pickers, now done about five rows and all the picks, the crates are full of grapes under there. So, what we're going to do now is we're going to take the quad bike and the low loader to pick up the grapes to take back to the winery, weigh them, and then start processing. It's not bad at all. Quality is alright. 
towards the bottom end. Yeah, I know. That's the right one. I know. Would I give you a bad one? Another right one. Nine months hard work. That's four rows, we've got three rows left. You weigh them yeah. and put them, and when we pick the next lot up and it's finished, yeah, you can weigh, yeah. you know, the yeah. next lot and I in with these here. Yeah. Now we've got a trailer load. Um, the quad bike won't pull any more up the hill, so we have to take this back to the winery where we will weigh them, then we'll come back and pick up the rest of the Chardonnay and weigh them again and then Hans will come over to the winery and we will start processing them. Ten point two five. There we go, this is the first load weighed and this is um, 280 kilos of grapes which will make approximately 200 bottles of wine. It's like grape juice. And there it runs, there it comes. And bigger. So that's the second pressure and I think that will be pressed within 35 minutes. It should be all finish there and then. Right, what we have here is the um, the Pinot Noir that we picked last Sunday and we're going to make it into pink sparkling. Um, it's been fermenting down and we're just tasting to see what it tastes like. So I'm going to hand it over to Hans to see what he says. Hi. Lovely Pinot based wine. I think it will be a very good vintage. And the blend with Chardonnay will give it an extra uh, sort of acid. I think it's better than, it's more Pinot than last year. It's year's. more Pinot Noir than last year. Last but year was a lot of strawberry, fruity, wasn't it? That's right. Yeah, so it's a lovely colour. And it will be a lovely That will color. be a lovely colour. Yeah. <laughs> what is that? That is the, um, that's the Chardonnay grape juice that we pressed earlier. Um, and now we're pumping over the um Terroir, where we're down in the press at the moment. And we're blending the two together. But it smells fresh and fruity and Right, nice. Perfect. Thank you. Now I'm going to show you the 
alchemy and the magic of winemaking. This in here is the juice from the white wine grapes, mainly all there are in here. And it looks like this when it's freshly squeezed. That is grape juice that will turn into that. Now, if that's not magic, I don't know what is. Cheers. Cheers, Nigel. Oh, uh, that is magic, I tell you. My God. Very nice. If I give you 30 quid, can you buy me a better bottle? No, I can buy you a birthday present from your own bottle. It's I don't buy anything from outside, like French champagne. I rather have English sparkling wine. That is, yeah, that is fantastic. It's a lovely, lovely sparkling. Well, we done something right. Cheers. Cheers. <laughs> du mich auch. Es <laughs> <laughs>